Hi, welcome um, to my tutorial on making a label. Uh, we got back to school here, so I'm making some labels for some lunch boxes and some uh, drink containers that my daughter wanted me to make. She's got some very specific requirements, so I'll just share how I did them. Um, I've put a post together to go with it. So you click into the T, which is for the text tool, and up the top you can see that there is a was an area to choose fonts it'll come back again we'll go over it again shortly type in um, the name that you want so I'm going to type in Matilda now let's pick the last font that I've used which is uh, quite a pretty font I'm going to do a uh, something with this font at some point so I was playing with it that's not the font she wants she's picked out matchstick and you just go up to the top there and drop it down and choose the font you want. You can see Matchstick's actually remembered I've used it, but if that's not the one you, your last ones that you use, you just scroll through and choose the font that you like. Kind of gives you a, a picture of what the font is going to look like. But we're going with Matchstick. So you can just drag that um, handle, the sizing handle out. It's all in one box, so it's all grouped together at the moment. We're sitting in the properties tab so we've just moved to the edit tab and you can see the size I've dragged it out to there on the right and she wants um, 14 centimeters by 5 centimeters high so we will just squeeze that back in a little bit and get it down so it's the 14 centimeters or fits within a 14 centimeter um, length and we'll stretch it down. Good thing about fonts is they're just fantastic to work with. You can pull them around and stretch them out and shuffle the letters together and they still look really good. So as long as it's pleasing to the eye, you're, you're fine to, to play with them. I'll do the next one, uh, which is to be Jacob. We'll get the handles around it. You can see that it's remembered and I actually wanted it bold. So we'll drop it down to bold. We've got a couple of choices there. That will vary on what font you use what choices you have so it may not always give you that trump that choice instead of dragging this time i'm going to actually change the sizing by highlighting the numbers in the height and width and typing that in there and i've just noticed that i've um typed 14 millimeter instead of 140 millimeter I'll go in and fix that because it's made it very small. And I've also unchecked the ratio, keeping it the scaling the same because we're going to do the size we want more so than the scaling. So we'll get that so it's got the right numbers in there. And here, there we go. <laughs> Wouldn't have been very good 14 mil. That's 1.4 centimeters. It's not very big at all. Um, so there's our sizing, but now it's, you can see that um, she's got a few lunch boxes and the lettering's not the same to match Matilda's. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place, because they've both got an A, I'm going to place them over and I'm just going to squeeze Jacob back in and get it so it's about the same size. It doesn't have to be perfect because as long as it looks about the same size, you're probably good enough. Um, I sometimes fiddle for ages because I want it perfect, but you don't really need to. You just move it around. I've kept the font uh, or the writing clear. Uh, see, it's not coloured in with a black or a pink. or You can colour it in later if you want to. But I've kept it clear specifically so I can actually see through it and I can see the letter behind and I can see whether it needs more adjustment or it's about the same size. You can just make the alterations to suit. And then when you're ready, you can just take it off the um, and separate them again so they've, they've pulled apart. Put a little bit more because it's just not quite not all bug me. And it should be okay. Okay, we'll move that off. And you can see that looks much more in proportion than what it did um, when it was exactly the same length because Jacob's a much shorter name than Matilda so that's that's what the difference is so um, I'm just going to show you how to divide these letters in case you want to make some changes so there's a weld 
or in the edit panel will divide uh, pro uh, overlap and also subtract so we're going to choose divide and you'll see the box has turned into lots of little boxes so you can click each letter now so you can see that's a separate letter and if you use your arrow key you can arrow key the letters closer uh, if you want them close enough that they're touching uh, you would then make them just overlap slightly and go down and weld them if you wanted them welded letters however we didn't want them welded in this project i've just moved them a little bit closer together so it just looks a bit tidier and then we'll group them we'll go up to the layer panel and group so they're easier to manage and there they are in one box again much easier um, I'll also do it with Matilda, but I'm not going to do anything with Matilda. I'm just dividing that so you can see. And um, so you could move these out if you want to, or further out. You can make the changes, any changes that you want. You can align them. You can do heaps of things. You can, If they're touching, you can weld them, as I said before. And you can see all the layers in the layers panel in this uh, downloaded version. And you can also group in here. So where I've divided in here, I can also group with the Jacob. I went up to the layer panel in the top menu. This is exactly the same, just in a different location, does the same thing. So next we'll pop a Charlie on here. We'll just type Charlie. And you'll see um, it's remembered our matchstick. Didn't remember the bold. We'll go and change it to bold. And... We'll have the same thing with checking the A, because Charlie's got an A too, so it's lucky. And we'll just change these again, take that off, and change it to 140 millimeters, not 14. Oops, a bit of a typo here. There we go, 140 uh, by 50. You can see the object changing, shape changes as the sizes change. There we go. Then I'm just, I'd like to put that back on. And we'll just go and check it against Jacob. And that actually looks pretty darn good. I'm happy with that straight away. <clears throat> because Charlie's a very similar size to Matilda, uh, it kind of fits straight away. Um, I'll just point out that you can't change Matilda now and or Jacob. Because we've divided and done things with them, you can't now change them. So that option to change them to bold or change the font or any of those options is not there anymore. Um, so make sure you do any changes that you want before you go any further by dividing or welding. Those changes cannot happen after that. Uh, so we'll just um, ungroup Matilda for a minute and just show you that you can move things away. And if you've moved things away, I, I normally like to use the arrow key when I'm working with with letters but if you've moved it away and you've made a mistake grabbed it accidentally or something just come up here to the undo and that might have been a bit quick for you but basically it just undid um, that move that I just made okay we'll just group that again so I like sending it to the machine grouped it's easier to manage and we'll save this document we'll go up to file and choose save as it will save it as a cwprj a project file cannot be sent to the scan and cut machine in that format it needs to go over as an fcm so you can either export it as an fcm or you can send it to your machine uh, exactly as is and there you can see i've sent it over the internet when there's a the screen um, so that's it for this project uh, i've got a post that goes with it and here's the pictures of what the end product looked like so you've got a bit of an idea uh, there's the lunch boxes and the drink bottles and i've got some tips and tricks on how to do that as well